Ladies and gentlemen, grab your disco boots and let's get ready to boogie because we're going to visit the cordless ansiphone. It's a machine made by Dictaphone in the 1970s. This is an answering machine. Do you guys know what an answering machine is? It is a machine that you would attach to your phone line in your house or your business so that when people called you and you couldn't answer the phone, this machine would do the job for you. This is a cordless ansiphone in beautiful, brilliant orange. And, uh, well, it just, uh, it just rocks, you know? And the sound quality is amazing. It's, the sucker's got a subwoofer in it. I mean, it's superb. So, shall we talk about what an answering machine actually consisted of? Well, it consisted of two things. A modern answering machine usually had two tapes and in that machine you would have a tape like this and this tape would be your greeting now this one I've modified as you watched a recent video of mine you'll see that I modified this tape it's got Teddy Ruxpin tape on the inside even though I erased it and put my own message on it I use the uh, uh, it's a little device called the mail call by Smith Corona and I needed a tape in fact that's the whole reason that I purchased this device at an antique mall was because I needed this tape. So in any case, this machine would answer your call with a greeting. And in this case, a 20 second greeting would greet you saying, hello, this is Bob. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you would leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, please wait for the beep. All right, so you'd hear something like that and you would record that greeting by hitting this button right here. This tape here was used to store the actual messages that people left, and it's an actual dictaphone cassette. Whoa, super close up, dude. So there it is, dictaphone cassette, C60. So it's a 60 minute tape, 30 minutes per side. So um, you put your tape in here, and really, quite honestly, this is a bona fide uh, tape recorder. So it is a uh, tape recorder on steroids just because, well, it's a tape recorder, but its main job is to record telephone messages. Over here, you have your on off switch as well as your volume control. So it clicks here and then you turn your volume up and set it there. You have an operate indicator light right here in the front. You have stop, rewind, fast forward, play, and auto. Auto is the button you would hit to activate its answering mode so that it would start picking up those phone calls, okay? Stop is when you're back and you're ready to listen to your messages, okay? Let's turn it around a little bit here and you'll see here on the side is a speaker. So this is your loudspeaker. I've got a uh, homebrew cord attached to it. It requires uh, 9 volts of power. Let's look on the back here at some of these strange jacks that we have. Mystery jacks. So we have over here uh, past. Now, this is something quite peculiar. I did not know that Pioneer made dictaphone equipment, but apparently at one time they did. Maybe they always did. I don't know. But looky there. There's Pioneer's name right there. Uh, phone. So you would attach a, uh, I don't know what you would attach there. Phone? A telephone maybe? I don't know. Why would it say phone there? Um, I plugged in headphones and I didn't hear anything out of them. So I'm not sure what that means. Mic, obviously. So you plug in your mic so that you can record the outgoing greeting. And then you have a, uh, a, a like a universal attachment here, also known as a DIN connector, so that you can connect the actual telephone line right there. And then your AC adapter. Now, mysteriously enough, I still don't know why this is called a cordless answering machine. Why is it cordless? I don't know. Uh, look on the bottom here, you'll see this plate shows uh, model 610, 9 volts DC, uses six alkaline C cells. And then it says, another high quality product from Pioneer Electronics Corporation, Tokyo, Japan. Now, it may be cordless because it doesn't require a power cord, but 
course it's going to have to have a phone cord attached to it and then uh, this is where you would plug in the battery pack here so it has like a big huge battery pack that holds the C cells it would attach to that and then when you'd stick the batteries in there so uh, that could very well be why it's called um, cordless and then you got this little notation on here dictaphone dictacall answering uh, ansiphone and ansonics are trademarks of dictaphone corporation rye new york very cool all right so we're going to set this thing down and i am going to demonstrate its amazing sound quality for you fixing my focus there there we go so I'm going to plug in the 9 volt power supply on the back here. And what I'd like to do to demonstrate it, since I can't hook it up to the phone line, I don't have an actual phone cord for it, so I really can't hook it up for you. Uh, I didn't get that. In fact, what you see here is all I received with the unit. So I did find this really cool record recently. This is called the Orgasonic 71. It is a record that demonstrates a, uh, a Baldwin home organ that you could have bought back in the day. So Baldwin made pianos and organs. And it features these tunes. So Eddie Osborne plays your favorite melodies on the Orgasonic 71. So the date on this is uh, 1962 from the Baldwin Piano Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. So this record, which I found, uh, it's almost in mint condition here. So what I did is I transferred this recording onto the cassette that's inside of this answering machine. So I'm gonna play it for you here shortly. But I needed an excuse to show you this, uh, this amazing record. And um, it's a 33 RPM long play, two-sided. And there's a certificate inside. Let's take a look at that. It's kind of a uh, very rare thing. So it shows here uh, that it was sent to E.E. E. Gessner, Gessner at 3957 Walsh Street, St. Louis Mo. And this entitled him to a free lesson as of March 26, 1962. So here is your LP recording of your new Orgasonic 71 organ by Baldwin. We greatly appreciate your sending for it and we trust you'll find it most entertaining. In addition to the recording, we are very pleased to present you this certificate which enables you to a free lesson on the Orgasonic 71. Your local Baldwin dealer whose name and address is listed below will arrange a free lesson upon presentation of this certificate. Be sure to call him in advance so an important appointment can be set up for your convenience. Cordially, the Baldwin Piano Company, Customer Service Department. And your Baldwin Piano Company was located at 916 Olive Street, 8450 Watson Road, St. Louis. And this certificate is non-transferable. so. At, uh, what is it, EE? -E? EE -E would not have been able to share this with a friend. He couldn't do it. He would have to go get this lesson himself and probably show some form of ID at the door to make sure that he was the guy that was there for his lesson. So now it's time to hear the amazing sound quality of the dictaphone, ansiphone, answering machine. Are you ready? Can you handle it? All right, here we go. about Homo 
show you exactly how this great new musical package, the Orgasonic 71, can bring new pleasures to your home. Here is a charming melody played with the standard Orgasonic voices. And there you have it, my friends, two amazing demonstrations in one. I hope you enjoyed this award-winning overview. <laughs> Hasn't won, a, won any awards yet. Um, this award-winning overview of this Dictaphone Cordless Ansiphone 610 and the amazing Orgasonic 71 long playing record. Thank you for watching. Please share this with a friend if you're crazy enough to do so. Uh, please leave a comment below and um, uh, click that like button. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.